Hey, I don't do lives. I really don't get off on it. But I had to do something, take a walk and get out the house. I'm a born again believer, you know? That means I know that Jesus Christ died for my sins, right? This would be a time where we just be letting out a service and greeting each other and just, you know, talking to each other. But as you can see, the gates are closed. Um, I don't like what's going on, you know? It's, it's, it's because they say that because of social distancing, we can't convene in the church. And I get it. But what I don't get is, this is essential to me. As a believer of God and a believer of Christ, this is essential. I miss so many services for going to work. And now I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a state of regret. Like, I want to go and worship my God. I can worship him anywhere. But I want to worship him in the house. And I can't do that. And that's breaking my heart. Now, I know God forgives me. I know Jesus died for my sins. You know? In this day where all these people are dying, I'm trying to just reach out to people, man. The church is what I live for. Like, I live for God. I know there's not perfect people in the church. That's The church is the hospital where we build up. The church is the hospital. And you closed our hospitals, de Blasio. I know non-believers don't get it, but believers get it. Like, this is what we need. This is what we need. We can pray and do everything in our house. The church is within us, but this is the building. This is the physical church. And we need to be in there. And it's not cool because when you go to Walmart, you, you close up like this. But this is a big building. If only 50 of the worshipers come here to pray for this coronavirus, this thing can be overturned. And it's just not cool. It's not cool, you know? I had a friend that died last week and I didn't share the gospel with him. Man, it was the last time I seen this brother. And he was a good dude, a great father. But I don't know if he knew Christ. And, you know, there's going to be a lot that don't believe, but, you know, come, it's what I believe. And it is what it is, man. And, like, I'm going to end it, but this thing right here, this church being closed, it's not the way to go, man. This is not it. It's not, because, like I said, it's large inside. We could stay six feet apart. I mean, McDonald's is open. The liquor store is open. Dollar General is open. People are not six feet apart from there. So what's your argument? The laundromat is open. It's essential, right? This is essential to believers. So what is your what is what is your what is your argument? Like we're grown people who know how to. This is like I said, this is the hospital. This is the hospital for humanity, man. And y'all not doing what y'all supposed to be doing. You supposed to, I said one day, at, we, we got a thing called World Vision, World Vision Day. We got a thing called World Vision Day, where we try to go out all over the world. We do. And we tell people about Christ. And they need to be saved, because you're gonna, when this life is over, you will face a judgment. And we want you to your judgment to be fair. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm asking for forgiveness constantly. But I know one thing. My name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I, I'm here as a believer just pouring my heart out to you guys to let you know how I'm feeling right now. I don't cry because I'm weak. I cry because I have pity for this world, man. And I'm just trying to live in it and do the best I can. But this right here, like I keep saying, this is our hospital. 
This is our hospital. And you, you closed our hospital. And the hospital is not just for us, it's for the world. We pray for the world. We pray for the world. We predicted this thing coming. Not me, myself, the church. The church predicted this thing coming. I could show you the proof. We have the proof. We have transcripts, date stamps, and everything. The proof is in the pudding. We've been talking about this forever. And now it's here. We told you to stock up. We told you there would be famine on the land. A couple of months ago, there was lo I mean, the locusts in Africa. There's pestilence now. Carnivore. I mean, whatever the stupid thing is, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I don't even want to acknowledge it no more. I just know that the hospital is closed and it's just... I don't even know I was going to do this. I just was so bored. I walked out of my house and I said, I got to say something. I'm putting up post, post after post after post, and it's not enough. I challenge, I don't challenge. This is not a game. Believers, wake up. Anybody think that as long as the Lord thinks you're right, you're right. Okay? As long as you know that you're a believer and that you stand strong and firm on the word, then you do what you do. You do what you do. I see a lot of people out here, and I see some believers out here looking at me. I see some non-believers, but I'm doing this out of bravery for my Lord, man. And this time, this thing got me choked up because people are dying. And I, uh, you know, I, I forgive me, my hand is shaking because I'm nervous. I'm not nervous because I'm scared. It's because I'm emotional, you know. I'm going to I'm 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 end it, but I hope I touch somebody out there. Mayor de Blasio, if you get to see this little nobody, God is trying to tell you something, man. Lift this ban on the church. Just, you know, let us social distance. Let's do six feet apart just like McDonald's or anything. We'll let only like 10, 15, 20 people in. And we'll do that. But you can't shut down the church. This is the bravest thing I try to do. Like, I'm just letting it out. I'm a grown man. And I know what I am. And I ain't no punk. And I ain't no sissy. Believe that, y'all, those who know me, but I had to let this be known. Open the church. Open the church. I'm out.